Kingdom, a 2019 zombie thriller series written by Kim and Hee and directed by Kim Sung Hun, is Netflix's first original Korean series which received tremendous popularity in both seasons with positive ratings from most critics and reviewers. The series takes place in medieval Korea where Lee Chang, the crown prince of the Joseon dynasty, stumbles upon a sinister secret amidst the investigation of a political conspiracy. The debt king has risen, the country is about to fall to the hands of disloyal traitors, and the land is overrun by a mysterious plague. Throughout the seasons, Chang struggles to save his people and country from the plague and from the hands of the Haewon Cho clan, the main antagonist party of the series. I think that there are several reasons to the success of the series, most representatively the film's unconventional twist of the familiar zombie setting. While a majority of widely known zombie films take setting in the present or at least around the 21st century, Kingdom takes setting in old Korea's Joseon dynasty which is speculated to be around the late 1500s or early 1600s. This difference in setting brings along a difference in the social status system, classism. This element is well represented in episode 3 where the magistrate's official says that they should burn the bodies of peasants and organize a proper funeral for the bodies of aristocrats. This introduces viewers to another element of conflict between the human parties, and the distinctive outfits and backgrounds of the time period is an obvious factor that makes the series more attractive. The zombies that appear in Kingdom are the most representative difference in the setting. Unlike the familiar stereotypical walking zombies, the zombies in the Kingdom can run, goes dormant during the daytime, and their bites are almost always immediate. The parasites that causes the play quickly adapts to the environment which builds onto the suspense. The series are mainly centered on thriller, rather than the traditional jump scares, the film tends to build up on the suspense before the finale. Another unconventional element of Kingdom lies in the spotlight of crisis. While many conventional zombie films, for example The Walking Dead, emphasizes human relationships amidst the zombies as a central crisis, Kingdom maintains highlighting the zombie plague as a priority. There are some important political conflicts and problems among the human side, which is also important, but nevertheless it is always the zombies that act as the plot's driving force. Also, the series had amazing cinematography, perhaps due to the overspent budget of 1.76 million US dollars per episode, the series constantly delivers amazing shots and camera work throughout each event. Here are some examples. Moving on, I struggled finding any drawbacks to this series. To name one, I'd say that it's a small number of episodes. Each episode is incredibly dense, but it's a shame that the whole series consists of only 12 episodes, including both seasons. Overall, Kingdom was one of the best drama series that I've watched in a while, and I'd recommend this to anyone even if they aren't a fan of zombies. I'd eagerly wait for season 3.